4D Scarecrow in a Cornfield Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody, in today's video I have a very cute little scarecrow that's popping out of a cornfield and this is kind of a autumn version of last Tuesday's design that was a evil scarecrow so I have like the before Halloween and the after Halloween designs. I hope you guys like this one as much as I do. Any 4D design is always extra fun for me and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin by applying an overlay across the entire nail with a very pale sunny blue. So just imagine a really nice bright calm sky and that's the kind of blue that you want. So nice pale baby blue works perfectly. And after you have the entire nail filled in, so I've actually did this in two beads. And then after I have that, I'm going to take a little bit of white acrylic that's a bit on the wetter side. And in the upper area of the nail, just sort of spread that out to create soft, fluffy looking clouds. It can be very abstract. It doesn't have to be perfect little cloud shapes or anything. Just wispy clouds are what you're looking for. And I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong. So just apply that down the entire nail up any extra there may be and then you are all set i'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file i started out with a fairly coarse bit to remove any bulk and just go over the whole thing when you're doing this be a little bit cautious that you are careful around where the clouds are so that if you file through all your white acrylic or all through all your clear acrylic you don't file away your clouds too after that i'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer across the entire thing and curing it so now on a nail form backing, I'm going to start to sculpt my little cornfield. So I have some green acrylic and I want to have a square, squared off shape on the bottom and then sort of pull the top line of your cornfield into the little, the little uh, stalks of your corn. So just pull that up almost like strands of grass. And then I'm going to sculpt two side pieces. So fairly skinny rectangles that are about the same height as your cornfield, maybe not quite as tall as some of the stalks, but similar height and try to keep those two side pieces very close to the same size as far as the length and the width. So just try to make them as symmetrical as possible or as identical as possible. Then you also want to make one piece that will go along the bottom. So you want that to be the same width as your little cornfield piece, the front piece that you made. And then it has a little gap in the center of it. Then I'm going to take some yellow acrylic and sculpt the ears of corn. And just do a couple here and there. It doesn't have to be too many. Then those two side pieces we made, I'm going to be gluing those onto the nail on the sides. And I'm going to just hold them in place while the glue is setting up with a little tweezers. I find a, a little tweezers doesn't have to be a sharp one or a good one, but you know, just any kind of a, a little grabber is super helpful in these kinds of intricate, very small designs. Place some glue on top of the side pieces and hold that main corn little piece on top of it. And you should have a nice little gap underneath your corn so that you can have your scarecrow go inside. And then glue the bottom piece to the bottom. I know all of these things are just shocking, right? But just glue that down if you need to. Use your tweezers once again. As you can see, my tweezers is not um, very well put together. or It's got a whole bunch of gunk on the end of it. It's just, it's kind of a cheap, cruddy one that I located in a drawer. One of those things you're like, hey... This isn't good for anything, but it really is. So sometimes you need to hang on to those things. But then I'm going to secure my little cornfield together with some more of that original color of green acrylic. When you work on the green acrylic over the front, don't smooth it out like you do on the sides. Try to keep it a little bit in that stringy shape. So just pull it up with the tip of your brush to create more little stalks of corn where, where you can. Secure it on the bottom. Just make sure that it's not going to fall apart. So then once again on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting my cute little scarecrow. So I started out with a beige color for his face. So just make a, an oval or a circle and then use a brown or whatever color you like. You can always switch up the colors. It's scarecrow. It's, you know, something that a farmer put together quick to keep his corn, keep his corn in, in his field and not in a crow's belly. So I just have the start of his hat and then I'm going to be adding his little orange shirt underneath that. So take and make kind of a rough shape of a square for his chest and his stomach and then nice little arms coming out the sides. They don't have to be symmetrical or perfect by any means. The scarecrow, like I said, you know, he's just kind of a, a regular guy that's been in the field for a while. I used a metallic gold to add the little bit of straw hair and a little bit of straw coming out his arms. Just like that. And then just keep, and you can do as much detail as you want with acrylic. I decided to give him a little bandana around his neck. So just a little bit of red acrylic and create a offset little kind of a triangle shape coming down like so. And then you're also going to need to add the brim of his hat. So go back with whatever color you use for his hat. For me, that's metallic brown. 
and add just a nice little brim going across. Glue a piece of wire to the back of your scarecrow, hold that in place, and then you can string your scarecrow through your corn maze, or your, not corn maze, but your cornfield. Cut off the end of the wire if it's too long and glue a bead to the bottom so that your scarecrow can't come out, so he's stuck in there. And I was having glue and bead problems. There we go. Now it's in there. And I'm going to be adding all of my more fine details with acrylic paint. So starting out with red, I'm going to be adding sort of a just a checker pattern across the shirt. So I had stripes going in one direction. And if you wanted to, it would certainly be easier to do some of this acrylic painting before you put your scarecrow into the nail. So that's up to you if you want to do it ahead of time or if you want to do it after you had it in the nail. So just keep that in mind. It might be a little easier. The reason that I did it I put it my scarecrow into the nails because I have a little cat who likes to steal these things and I'm always afraid she's gonna run off with something I need unless I make it attached so that was my reason she has stolen plenty from my work table in the past but then I'm going to take and I added a little triangle nose I'm going to do some details in the cornfield sort of highlight some of my stalks with a brighter shade of green and then with orange and yellow I'm going to be adding just some texture across the ears of corn and make it look like they've got the little corn kernels on them then with some diluted black paint I'm going to be adding all the details on my scarecrow so some black outlines wherever it is neat wherever it is needed little outlines add outlines on his face for his facial features, little dash lines for his smile, little eyebrows, little eyes. Just keep adding details until you're happy with it. The great thing with these designs is you can keep it simple or you can go super detailed. It's completely up to you. I'm going to add a little flower on his hat. I wanted to keep him cute this time instead of my last scarecrow that I want to keep him creepy. So that's all the great stuff. A little a couple little pink polka dots on his cheeks, some matte top coat over your corn and over your scarecrow, and you are all done. I love this guy. I think he's so cute. I just, you know, it's so perfect this time of year to be able to do a couple different variations of a design, which is what I did with these two scarecrows. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!